What's going on guys? Purple Thumper here, bringing you a uh, audio commentary on one of my gameplays. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's free for all on a state. This is actually uh, was my first match of the day. Played it like five or ten minutes after I woke up, after I got out of bed, so I kind of still have a sleep, so bear with me. You'll see some of the, uh, the accuracy on my shots are kind of iffy. But I'm using the uh, the silenced UMP45 with uh, Sleight of Hand Pro, Stop and Power Pro, and Ninja Pro. My secondary weapon is the uh, silenced Rafika. That thing is beastly. I'm using, I believe, flashbangs and Semtex grenades. So um, my strategy for playing free for all in the state, I would have to say, was what I used to do was I just used to run around in a circle basically a really big circle on the outside of the map and uh, found out pretty quickly that um, yeah it's not a good idea man really not a good idea you tend to uh, to get raped a lot from behind when you do that just because it's in free-for-all especially on this map being so big the spawn areas they're everywhere and anywhere I mean people will just spawn randomly behind you you know, so I kind of got sick and tired of getting shot in my back all the time just because people would decide to, you know, respawn there. So what I did for this match, I decided I was going to switch up my strategy and uh, kind of just stick around to the uh, the boathouse and the estate. Also, a, uh, another reason why I decided to do that was in this match, you can't hear the guys, but some of the guys that I was playing against seemed kind of crazy. I mean, they're... Uh, it was the guys that were hanging down right where that Pred missile dropped down on the bottom side, all the way at the bottom of the hill in that building. They were um, they were running around, and while they were killing each other, they were telling each other, yelling out where they were at. And whether or not it was actually where they were at, whether they were actually telling each other the truth or not, I don't know. But I kind of was like, you know what? I don't even want to, uh, want to deal with those guys. So, yeah go down there and I'd probably end up having a really bad game so I just decided to stay as far away from those guys as I possibly could and let them have their fun and you know I just do my thing up by the boathouse in the estate but pretty soon I believe I get my Pred missile coming up um, you're gonna see also probably about half of my kills anywhere from like 12 to 15 of the kills that I get in this game are all because I hear people's footsteps because I'm using uh, my Turtle Beach X11 headset, and I don't know if any of you are out there listening and watching this that you guys don't have a gaming headset, but if you don't, you gotta get either a Turtle Beach set or a Triton set or an Astro set. They're just, they're amazing. You become such a better player while you're wearing them just because you could hear footsteps from across the map from anywhere. I mean, a lot of people don't use Ninja because they don't realize how loud their footsteps are when they don't have it on because you can't really tell in the uh, standard Microsoft Xbox mic they give you so but in you know Turtle Beaches or Tritons or Astros you could it's like they're running right next to you and they're just stomping their feet and it's such a big difference and I mean you know you could hear people coming up from behind you you could hear them running up behind you you can turn around real quick and kill them but uh, anyway back to the to the gameplay right here you can see I got my chopper gunner one of the worst chopper gunners I've ever had. I think I get two kills and then uh, get shot down by some guy with cold blooded. I couldn't figure out where he's at and took it out no problem. So I did all that work to get the chopper gunner and it gets me two kills. So here I am running from the boathouse with no ammo in my ump and just my silent Rafika. But like I said earlier, the Rafikas are beastly, so you know they're basically like a primary gun. I go up in the estate because I heard a bunch of footsteps up there and well I don't know why I did that because there was like three guys in there kind of got shot at from all different directions luckily it spawns me back at the uh, at the boathouse here this guy I don't know how he didn't kill me I mean uh, he got shots into me I'm red I'm so f freaking out right now because I can't figure out where he's at it turns he was in the boathouse but then I get picked off from the balcony in the estate spawns me over the greenhouse once again here coming up I'm gonna hear footsteps from behind me and there's a guy right there so there's proof that the turtle beaches make a big difference but end up getting that guy on the top of the estate then I get hit by a pred missile yeah that's awesome but uh <laughs> luckily it spawned me back in the boathouse 
get that guy right there. He probably just spawned by the boathouse also. So another reason why uh, I like the boathouse is because when you're watching it, that's actually one of the uh, that area at the boathouse. It's actually one of the spawn points. So as long as you keep your eye on that, you should be pretty good. Cause you'll be able to see people that are spawning there and be able to kill them. You know, basically right as they spawn. You know, as long as you don't run into a bunch of guys with pain pillar. And I'm pretty sure I just said pain pillar. I meant pain killer. Anyway. Like I said, you know, pretty good strategy. Here I am, back up at the, uh, trying to make my way back at the estate. I see a guy running the bottom of the estate, so I figured, well, I'll follow him for a little bit, see if I can kill him. End up losing him. Don't have a clue where he's at in here. And trying to figure out, because there's so many little areas to hide in the estate. It's kind of like, oh, great, this guy's, I was thinking right now, this guy was actually probably going to find me first and kill me. But then again, heard some footsteps and found him right there. Thank you, Turtle Beaches. But decided to chill out in the estate for a little bit because uh, one of the enemies decided to drop a precision airstrike on the map. So didn't want to randomly get hit by that thing. But either way, I ended up dying anyway. Get spazzed in the side. But here what I'm talking about, the only problem with my strategy and, you know, sticking to one spot of the map, when I spawn down here, I don't have a clue what these guys, what they're doing and where they're hiding. As you see, I get basically shot up at like three different guys and that's the only problem you know most of those guys down there they didn't come up to the boathouse or the estate much you know mostly they did they had my strategy they were just down you know on the bottom side and the only time they came up was when they spawned up by the estate of the boathouse so here i uh get this guy here i think i'm a couple away from my pred missile i think i got like uh, five or six kills left until the until i got my 30 but I hear some more footsteps with Boathouse. There he is right there. Pick him off. And like I said, man, you can see, like, there's another guy in the Boathouse that I get. Tw at least 12 or 15 of my kills are just by, you know, my turtle beaches picking up people running. There's another kill. I get my second Pred Missile of the game. When I call this in, I really should have probably just laid under the Boathouse rather than where I laid kind of out in the open. You know, somebody could have spawned there and picked me off, but... Fortunately, nobody did. So now I'm one away from a Harrier. I think I'm like two kills away from 30. Hear more footsteps, and there's another guy, which gives me the Harrier. Second one of the game. Call that out. And right now, I was kind of thinking, well, maybe I'll just kind of sit back and relax and let the Harrier pick up the, the last kill for the game winner. But then I was like, oh. So I might as well just do it myself. So once again, I'm making my way to the state. And then I hear footsteps again from behind me. So I run back to the boathouse, and what do you know? There's a guy running up the hill, and I get him for the game-winning kill. But there it is. I believe I end up going 30 kills and 7 deaths. I can't really remember if I got any assists or not. Might have got one or two. But I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary and my strategies on a free-for-all match on a state.